Hello everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed that Mother's Day story time. So what we have now is our Mother's Day craft and we have a couple of different options for you guys but what you're going to be making is a really pretty necklace to give to your mom, okay? So in the bag that you guys have picked up, you have a pipe cleaner, you have some string, and then we have some beads, and then we have even smaller beads. And then you get to make a pretty little pendant or a big bead out of some model magic. So parents, just so you know, there is two different types of strings that the kids can build their necklaces on. If they have a little bit more of their finger dexterity, they can use the string, but if it, the string's a little bit difficult for them, they're more than welcome to use the pipe cleaner to create a necklace and or a bracelet for you. All right, guys. So what you're gonna have is your model magic. We're gonna go ahead and open this up because what we are gonna make is a cute little piece to go on our necklace to give to our mom. Now you can make this to be whatever you want. You can make it to be a giant bead. You can shape it in a flower. You can add beads to it. The choice is totally yours, okay? But I think I'm gonna make mine into a really pretty flower. So there is a lot of model magic in there, you guys. So if you want to, you can even make two pretty beads to go onto your mom's necklace, or you can make a bunch of tiny ones. The choice is totally yours, okay? And if you even wanted to, you want to know that you something cool you can do, you can put your thumbprints in these. So I'm going to show you guys. We can make thumbprints in the shape of a heart so your mom can wear your heart everywhere. So you're going to have it flat like this and then we're going to push our thumb in it right there and then we're going to turn your finger a little bit more in a shape of a heart. Don't worry if you can't do it on your own. We can ask your parent or your sibling to help you. So in there, once you do that, you should have a shape of a heart made out of your fingerprints. Now, in order to put this on our necklace, we need to make sure we place a hole right there, okay? I'm gonna use my pipe cleaner to help me. We place a hole right there big enough so that way our pipe cleaner or our string can go through it, okay? So there is my hole with my thumbprints to make a shape of a heart. But I also think I'm gonna add some pretty beads to go around. So I'm gonna take my beads and I'm gonna stuff them right inside to give it some decoration. Because you know why not? Stuff it right in there, all in there. I hope my mom loves this. I know she's gonna love your guys's, okay? Stuff it right in there. And then parents, just so you know, the model magic is gonna be dry for a while. So I do recommend that you leave it out for at least 24 hours. Doing that will allow it to dry up and then you'll be able to put your necklace all together and then you won't have to worry about their wonderful creation falling apart or anything. So now I have that made. I'm gonna make two beads to go on the side of mine. Now you can make yours however you want, but this is how I'm going to do mine, okay? So I need to put a hole in it again, so that way there's room for my string or for my pipe cleaner to go through, because we have to turn it into a bead, okay? So I just stuck it in there. I'm gonna spin it around. That way it makes a hole big enough for my bead. That way I can add it. So I put a hole through that one and then we're gonna put a hole through this one. We're gonna move it around, that way it's just big enough to fit through our string or our pipe cleaner, okay? So I have those made. So now it's time to put our necklace together. So in your kit, you're gonna have a bunch of beads of your choice for you to be able to make this however you want. So I'm actually gonna put mine on a string, but you can put it yours on a pipe cleaner if it's easier for you. Whatever works. So we're gonna push that through, push it through, I need some help. Push it through, so that way I can pull it out the other side. This is how I wanna put mine on. So then I put my string on there. So from there, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill it up with beads 
If you run out of beads, that's totally fine. If you have some beads at home you want to add, you can totally add those to your necklace too. That way you can have even more on there. But trust me, no matter what you guys make, it's going to be super cute, okay? So put those on there. All right. And then I'm going to put my big beads that I made on there. Push that through. Push that through. Where's my string? Sometimes I need help pushing the string through, but that's okay. couple more beads on there but I'm actually gonna put some of my smaller beads that I use to decorate my thumbprint on here and then once you're done putting however many beads you want on there you are done making your necklace for your mom so now your kit is gonna come in a paper bag okay and with that paper bag, you are able to decorate it and make it look all nice and pretty to be a wrap for your mom's present. That way she won't see what you've made. So now you have your strings at the end and we're going to tie them together so we can make a necklace, okay? We're going to tie it together to hold everything all in one spot. So it's nice and tight and we have a full necklace and now your mom should be able to wear for Mother's Day and have a really cute and simple gift made just by you. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed and I can't wait to see what you make for your mom on Mother's Day, okay? Alright, 